Hello everyone, here's our summary of the video. And before we proceed to our topic, let's, let's discuss some flows and definitions that can help you to understand our video presentation. First, I would like to present to you with my group mates some previous lessons that were discussed by our professor Yupang last meeting. It's more likely about endocrine systems. Then after I introduce to you our previous lesson, let's proceed to the next topic that we need to discuss. What is autoimmune grave disease and the effects of disease on a person to their hormones? Her journey on how she found out and also the treatments, medication, and diet she undergoes. Let me present my group mates for further information on this topic. Here is some basic information associated with our discussion. Endocrine system, also referred to as hormone system, are found in all mammals, bird, fish, and many other types of living organisms. And the disease based on the video link attached to Graves' disease, Graves disease is an autoimmune disorder that can cause hyperthyroidism or overactive thyroid. And now, we proceed to the next topic continuing the definition of the endocrine system. Endocrine system is a network of glands and organs located throughout the body. It is similar to the nervous system in which it plays a vital role in controlling and regulating many of the body's functions. However, while the nervous system uses nerve impulses and neurotransmitters for communication, the endocrine system uses chemical messenger called hormones. It regulates all biological processes in the body, including the development of the brain and nervous system, the growth and function of the reproductive system, as well as the metabolism and blood sugar levels, the female ovaries, male testes, and pituitary, thyroid, and adrenal glands are, ma are major cons constituents of the endocrine system. Hormones are your body's chemical messengers that travel in your bloodstream to tissues and organs. They work slowly over time and affect many different processes including growth and development, metabolism, sexual function, reproduction, and your own moods. Hormones are powerful only needing a small amount to cause big changes in the cells or even your whole body. Examples of these are oxytocin and vasopressin. Oxytocin acts on organs of the body as a chemical messenger in the brain controlling key aspects of reproductive system. Vasopressin plays a role in maintaining the volume of water in extracellular fluid and maintaining osmolality, which is present in salt and glucose. So, Miss Megan Roosevelt shared his personal thyroid story. But let me introduce to you what's the meaning of hyperthyroidism. It also called overactive thyroid is when the thyroid gland makes more thyroid hormones than your body needs. The thyroid is a small butterfly-shaped gland in the front of your neck. Thyroid hormones control the way the body uses energy. So they affect nearly every organ in your body, even the way your heart beats. With too much thyroid hormone, many of your body's functions speed up. So basically, when you first get hyperthyroidism, you feel energetic. This is because your metabolism is sped up, but over time, this increase in your metabolism can break your body down and cause you to feel tired. Usually, hyperthyroidism develops slowly. So, what are the effects of hyperthyroidism on Megan's life? As she wants to have a baby to be able to conceive, she needed to cure her hyperthyroidism first before it happened. Um, hyperthyroidism, um, based on her journey, made her more anxious, feel tremors on her extremities, and more um, prone to high blood pressure. Because of her um, hyperthyroidism, she also needed to change her diet. She ate plant-based and more starch foods to help her thyroid to reach its normal state. She also undergo a lot of tests, a lot of second opinions to doctors to know 
um, what is the best treatment she, that she can do to help treat her situation? Megan Roosevelt knows that she has a grave disease from hyperthyroid. Their story begins in 2015 when she and her husband wanted to start a family. They wanted a baby so bad to the point that they check her every month if she's already pregnant. Eventually, after one year of faithing, she notices that there's no change and she's not getting pregnant at all. She was devastated that time so they decided to go to a doctor to do some tests. At first, they went to a fertility doctor. Everything is normal if, except for her thyroid and antibodies. So their fertility doctor referred Megan to an endocrinologist to have another appointment and run some tests again. The test result were very invasive and overwhelming for Megan because the doctor told her that she is diagnosed with an autoimmune condition known as grave disease from hyperthyroid. Megan Roosevelt is a registered dietitian who happens to have autoimmune graves disease, hyperthyroid. It started way back year 2015 and struggling getting pregnant. Then after a year, she and her husband decided to get consulted to a fertility doctor. After running some tests and the results were okay except antibody levels and thyroid. Then she referred to another doctor which is endor endocrinologist and run some more tests. The endocrinologist says that she have autoimmune condition known as Graves disease from hyperthyroid. Then she gives her three options. Then she ended up doing some research. She consulted an neuropathic doctor which she have allergies but not connected to her allergens. The doctor said she have leaky guts and candida. She is prescribed with heavy metal detox which she will drink one detox pill one hour before meal or after two or three hours. Megan ran some food allergy test so she became vegan eating lots of plant-based food with herbal blend. It comes with simple exercise of yoga and walking. Putting some essential oils on her thyroid after six months, it went back to normal. Then they went on acupuncture fertility plan. Then finally, after five days, she decides to take some pregnancy test and all of them were shocked that the PT went positive, including the doctors were shocked. She will now have a baby girl and incoming son. What is the diet she went undergo? According to her story, she was chosen to go on a very low sugar diet. She was needed to eat at least 0 grams of added sugar for about 6 months. She was even monitored very low for eating starches foods, and this involves legumes, beans, grains, and fruit. She also added that she incorporated for herbs, just to kill off the candida and leak gut. The woman needed to go on a very low sugar diet to essentially wash off the bad bacteria and candida. Just gonna add this for everyone's knowledge that candida is a fungal infection caused by a yeast. This infection can be found inside their body like throat, mouth, ear, and gut. Medicine treatment plan. She implanted one heavy detox which included taking supplements that help excrete the metals out of her body. Second was there was food recommended for her to, av to avoid during her treatment plan to help lower the immune response that her body was having, and she has 19 different food. She also ate a diet and incorporated herbs for candida and leaky gut. She focused on healing diet. Vitamin D was also included on her medication. So thank you everybody for your wonderful presentation of your part and this is the end of our video presentation for this week's activity which is the connection of our weeks for this week's topic which is the endocrine system and Megan's Megan Roosevelt's journey about her hyperthyroidism. Thank you!